share with you about the meaning of name Jesus. The power in the name of Jesus. Why we have put in our church the backdrop as Jesus is Lord. The Bible says, call upon the name of the Lord and be saved. The name of the Lord is the strong tower. The righteous run to it and they are safe. What is that name? Why that name has so much of power? And the name above every other name, the name of Jesus is given unto us. And Jesus said, if you ask anything in my name, Father will surely give it unto you. Why does this name has so much of power? Why should we pray in the name of Jesus? The prayer that is prayed in the name of Jesus alone reaches the Father. Only in Jesus name your prayers are answered. One day Peter and John were going near the temple gate and they saw a lame beggar. He was seated at a gate called Beautiful with an ugly problem. He was lame and he was lying there for 18 years. And Peter looked at him and said, look here. And the beggar looked at him with expectancy that he would receive something. And Peter said, silver and gold have I none. All I have is this. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. He took him at his hand and that beggar began to stand, jumping, leaping, praising God. He entered the temple. When the people around the temple saw that this lame beggar who was there for 18 years is, has begun to walk, they were astonished. They were surprised and they all started following and they ran into the temple to see what happened. If you see in the Bible, when people see miracles, when they see wonders, they are filled with amazement but that does not lead them to salvation what leads the individual to salvation it is faith that leads the individual to salvation that's where the Bible says in Romans chapter 10 verse 17 faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God so when Peter saw all these people coming it says he sees the opportunity and he addressed the crowd look at the other words what it says Peter saw his opportunity and addressed the crowd. People of Israel, he said, what is so surprising about this? And why stare at us as though we had made this man walk by our own power or godliness? Through faith in the name of Jesus, this man was healed. And you know how crippled he was before. Faith in Jesus' name has healed him before your very eyes. Amen. Peter seized that opportunity and he said, We have not healed this beggar with our power or our godliness. We have healed him by having faith in Jesus' name. Faith in in Jesus name has healed this beggar in front of your own eyes. If you go back to the Old Testament and we see the name that God revealed to Moses. God called Moses one day out of the burning bush and he said, Moses come go to Egypt and deliver my people. Moses said, okay God what should I tell who you are or what is your name? God said, Moses how can I contain myself in a name? How can I explain to you who I am in a name? It is not I was or I will be. It is I am. I am continuous tense. I am who you want me to be. I am your brother when you need a companion. I am your partner when you need someone to share something. I am your best friend. I am your father. I am your mother. I am your deliverer. I am your provider. I am your salvation. I am your God. I cannot define myself in a name. Just go to Pharaoh and to the people and say, I am that I am. That's what is the English Bible translation when the most has asked what is your name God said my name is Yudhe Wafe Yudhe Wafe which even today a Jewish person would not pronounce that name because it cannot be pronounced it is incommunable it cannot be understood because the vowels and the consonants that is used in this name is so difficult that no one has ever got the right pronunciation of this name after centuries the real pronunciation of the name has been lost but then this is what vaguely they pronounce as Yudhe Wafe and the first four letters of Yudhe Wafe is taken and that's what a Jewish person 
writes it down. Whenever a chief priest is trying to uh, write down their scrolls or translate their Bible, yeah, put it into a scribe, they would always wash their hands, wash their feet before they would write that name because that name was considered to be holy, it was considered to be sacred, it was considered to be a name that cannot be misused because it was a Jewish law that I, as per Exodus chapter 20, the third commandment says that thou shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. So a Jewish person is so careful that he would not want to misuse the name of the Lord his God. So they would not even pronounce that name. They would just write the four letters. In, it's called tetragrammum. That is the first letter of each word. It's written as YHWH and every time they would write the name of God they would write it as YHWH because it's a, a very sacred name for them to pronounce and as per the book of Deuteronomy as per the law they could not deface the name of the Lord they cannot write the name and then tear it they cannot write a name and then erase it or then trash that name so they were so particular they wanted that name to be maintained in so much of sacredness and holiness they would be very careful every time they write that name even till, till today a Jewish man would not take that name easily that's why whenever they call upon the name of their God whenever they call upon name of our God they would always say that it is Adonai or Elohim they would say the God of Israel or they would say Kadosh when we say Adonai Adonai means my Lord when I say Kadosh it means it is Holy One or they would say the God of Israel but they would not take the name Yahweh because for them the name Yahweh is very sacred very holy they cannot misuse and they were so scared where they would mispronounce this name so this name was a very powerful name very holy name so a Jewish person would never misuse this name so when the, the reason they crucified Jesus on the cross is because Jesus would say when Jesus said that I am the son of God they thought that Jesus is misusing the name of God they felt that he is blaspheming against this name so they could not take it up so they thought that it's a blasphemy and they wanted him to be crucified but Jesus was saying the truth he is YHWH he is Yahweh our salvation he is the son of God whom God decided to send God became human God became baby that God when he became human form we call him Jesus the meaning of name Jesus is Jesus is our savior in Hebrew word Yahweh is our salvation Jesus means Yeshua Yeshua comes from the Hebrew word the meaning of Yeshua is Yahweh is our salvation that's why it's a very common name in Israel that Yahweh is our salvation because they always wanted to see Yahweh as their Messiah Yahweh as their salvation Yahweh to come and save them from their sins from their difficulties from their pain so they had heard the prophecies about Yahweh sending a Messiah by Isaiah so they would always name their children as Jesus that is Yeshua that is Yahweh is our salvation now if you study the name Yahweh in Hebrew word when it was translated in Latin the Latinization of the name Yahweh is Jehovah and then when English people were trying to translate it in English Bible they didn't know what name to be given because this vowels and consonants that was used for Yahweh was not found in English uh, literature so they named it as L O R D capital L O R D in English so Yahweh in Hebrew Jehovah in Greek Latin and Lord in English. So now whenever they would write in English Bible Yahweh name they would write it as Lord L-O-R-D. Now when we study the New Testament that is when the entire explanation of the name of Yahweh comes into light. So now whenever they would write in English Bible Yahweh name they would write it as Lord L O R D. So a Jewish person would not pronounce the name Yahweh. He would say Adonai. Adonai means my Lord. He would say Elohim. He would say Kadosh. Kadosh means the Holy One. They would use as the God of Israel, but they would not use Yudhevafe because they do not know the name and the meaning, the pronunciation. So they would just keep it as Yahweh or YHWH. Now, when we study the New Testament, that is when the entire explanation of the name of Yahweh 
comes into light the book of uh, john when jesus was crucified on crucifixion when jesus was crucified pontius pilate wrote his name and the crime that was uh, done by an individual at that time it was customary that anyone who would be crucified his name and the crime that person has done would be written and a title board will be made on top of his head and they would place it and the name of the two criminals on the right and left their name and the crime was mentioned and on name of jesus his name was written and the crime was mentioned let us go to the uh, let us see this how it has been put here if you see they had written it in three languages one was in hebrew the other one was aramaic and one more was in uh, latin latin was very popularized most of you have might have seen it was inri INRI on all the crosses so you know there's something called INRI but then they are not aware of Aramaic and Hebrew at that time these three languages were geographical languages of that area and they wrote it in three languages Hebrew Latin and Aramaic so in Latin it was something like this Isues Nazarens Rex Iduverum. I am not sure of the pronunciation, how it is read in uh, Latin. Aramaic, we are not aware. And in uh, Hebrew, if you see, it's something like this. It is Yeshua Ha Nazari Vemelech Ha Hudam. If you see in Hebrew meaning, it is Yeshua Ha Nazari Vemelech Ha Hudam. Yeshua, if you have to explain and translate that in English, it is Jesus of Nazareth, the King of Jews. Jesus of Nazareth, the King of Jews. So the name of the criminal was Jesus. That's what they have, they have tried to write on the title board of the cross. They have written as Jesus, the name of the individual who died on the crucifixion and the, who was crucified. And the crime, the crime for which he was crucified was the King of Jews. Jesus, the King of Jews. That's what he was crucified for. But then when the title was put in Hebrew, in Aramaic and in Latin, the people of Israel saw, the Jewish people saw and the Pharisees and the chief priests, when they saw this, they were so perplexed and they were so disturbed. They went to Pontius Pilate and they requested Pontius Pilate, what have you done? Why have you put this on top of his head? What is this title board? Please change this title board. I want, this, I want all of you to read this. It says, then many of the Jews read this title for the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city and it was written in Hebrew, Greek and Latin. Therefore, the chief priest of the Jews said to Pilate, do not write the king of Jews, but write he said, I am the king of Jews. Pilate answered, what I have written, I have written. If you see, this chief priest were disturbed and said, do not write, he is king of Jews. They were so disturbed looking at the name on top of the head of Jesus. Why were they disturbed? All they wanted was Jesus to be crucified, Jesus to die. Now he is dead and on his grave what is written? How does that matter to them? But then they were so particular why it is written this way. Change that it is not his king of Jews. Write it as he said he is king of Jews. They read it as Yeshua Ha Nazare Vemelak Yahudam. When they read this, it was so surprising for a Jewish person because they saw that four letter tetragrammatum that is YHVH. When they saw YHVH, they were so surprised and they were so scared that the name of Yahweh, the name of God of Israel, the name of Elohim has been used on the name of Jesus. They said this name, they would be afraid. They would wash their hands and write. This name, they would not even pronounce. This name, they would not even explain. And this name is being put there on the crucifix, on the name of the crime of the criminal. They said, please change this name because we do not want this name to be there. YHVH. VH because it's looking like YHVH that means God Almighty the God of Israel Yahweh Yudhe Wafe has been crucified Yudhe Wafe has become a criminal Yudhe Wafe has become a sinner Yudhe Wafe has died they said please change this name Pontius Pilate said you have already killed the innocent man and you have, you have troubled me now I'm not going to change this what I have written is written until today it remains and stands as YHVH because it was YHVH who died. It was YHVH that is Yudhe Vafe who came down for 
man. It was YHVH who became human, who sacrificed his life for you and for me. Today, when we say Jesus, that is Yudhevafe is our savior. When we say Jesus is Lord, when we understand the meaning behind Jesus is Lord. So when uh, Apostle Paul was writing, in the book of Philippines, you can go to that verse. It says, therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every other name. And at that name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. If you see... Apostle Paul has written this and Apostle Paul was a Pharisee. He was a scholar. He, has de he had dedicated his entire life to study the Holy Bible and he was so zealous for God that he took the decree from the government and he said whoever does the blasphemy and whoever follows Christ, he would put them to death and under his uh, uh, authority, Stephen was killed. That person he has written because he knows the name YHWH is so sacred. He cannot misuse that name and he writes that the, uh, the name of Jesus every knee should buy, bow in heaven and on earth. What is that name in heaven that every knee should bow other than the name of God Almighty. And it says that every tongue confess and acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord. So now do not be confused when I said YHVH and what is that YHWH? I told you it is not a letter YHWH or VH. It is in English WH or VH. But as per Hebrew, it is a sound, it's a vowel, it's a consonant. So we do not know what it is. It is Yudhe Vase. So we do not know it's Y or V. So in English translation, they made it as V. In Greek translation, they made it as J. But the real pronunciation, we do not know. But it is given as four letter word that is tetragrammatum. Why they could not accept the fact that YHWH is written on the name of Jesus. Indeed, it was YHWH. It was Yudhevafe that died for you and for me. Indeed, it was Yahweh who became criminal in our place. He became a sinner so that you and I can become the righteousness of God. He became poor so that you and I can become rich. He became all sickness and disease, infirmities so that today we can stand strong and healthy. Indeed, he became ashes so that today he has given us beauty for ashes. So now do you know why our church has put this name here? Jesus is Lord. Every time you walk into the church, you read this, Jesus is Lord. Just like how Apostle Paul has written in Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 and 10, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Because when you confess Jesus Christ is Lord, you're simply saying that Yeshua is Yahweh. Jesus is the Lord. Yahweh it has become our savior. Yahweh has become our salvation. So that's why there is power in that name. That's why we have put this name so that you each time confess and you say that Yahweh is my savior. Yahweh is my salvation. Yahweh is my God. And continue to say this and believe it because it says in the book of Romans that Anyone who believes in their heart and confess it with their mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, he shall be saved. So thou shalt believe and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Amen.